great week aboard the Africa Mercy. I just got back from the lab where I was interviewing my good friend and our lab technologist, Colleen Conley. I've known her for many, many years, and so I'm really excited to introduce you all to her. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get to hear a little bit about what her life is like here on the ship and what goes on. My name is Colleen Conley. I'm a medical laboratory technologist. I've been in merchant ship for 22 years. This is my 23rd year. And That's how old I am. I, <laughs> I've met you, I think. And yeah, you were just that baby. I first came to merchant ships in 1995, and I washed dishes on the Anastasis for five months. And that was super cool. I recommend that job to anybody who's coming into merchant ships for the first time. It uh, gives you a great opportunity to meet people and work hard and have lots of time off to run around and get to know the country that you're in. So that was fun for me. And yeah, I was just sitting around one day in my house in Virginia with a friend and we decided there has to be more to life than just working and getting money and paying rent and getting up the next day and working again. So we said, let's look at the ship. So we did. For all of us who are non-medical out here, what exactly does a lab technologist do? Well, I'm glad you asked that <laughs> because I actually like to think that the laboratory is the heartbeat of the hospital and Ooh. don't tell all the other areas that I say that, but I think that's <laughs> the best place because we do all the testing that has to do with diagnosing, screening for disease, assessing treatment, how treatment is given and what the success of treatment is. We actually help doctors figure out what's wrong with the patient or if they do mm -hmm. have a particular condition. And then we can also help decide if the treatment is appropriate that they want to give the patient or if the patient is responding successfully to any kind of treatment. So it's a super cool place. walking blood bank on the commercial ship. That means all the crew are our blood donors. So the blood we give people is walking around in the body of our donors. We don't store a lot of blood. We, we might um, store a few units just for extreme emergencies. Otherwise, we have the crew sign up to be blood donors and then we'll take your blood and type you and screen you and cross match with the patients. And then we say, hey, here is, we need your blood tomorrow. And we might call you up at two o'clock, wherever you are and as you come down to the lab and give your blood and it's awesome and then the lab tech will cross match you with the patient and then they walk your blood down to the OR and give it to the patient right there still warm still amazing wow. it's the coolest thing ever and then you actually have the opportunity to learn who got your blood and if you want you can uh, go visit that patient and befriend them in the ward with some of our opportunities to do that which is so cool like, where else does that happen cool. yeah Come so. on into the lab. These are the amazing lab staff Hi. right now. <laughs> Kathy and Darlene. Hello. They are working hard. Of course. Keeping the lab running. Doing the which is important. <laughs> and this is the medical lab. It's full of super cool machines called instruments. These are what do all the blood tests that we do. So cool and creepy you? to me. Oh, positive. Oh, so positive. Oh, we like yeah. that. Is that good? I think we should screen you to be a blood donor. Okay, how does that work? Well, come with me. We'll go okay. in here and your blood. I feel like I'm excited right now and I'm about to freak <laughs> out. <laughs> hey, Colleen, do you need this? What is your this? blood donor form? Oh, perfect. Hi, Karis. Parker. Hereby grant the medical laboratory of the MB Africa Mercy permission. Oh, that I do. I guess I'll trust you guys. November 7th? Where did October go? Have you had an accident with a total needle stick body fluid exposure in the last 12 months? I fell off a rock. Uh, Which no, I'm just kidding. That makes you a better go. <laughs> You're stronger. 
Have you had a tattoo or body piercing in the last 12 months that you haven't told your parents about yet? No, they would cry. Okay, okay. Have you had malaria since completing your questionnaire? Nope. The last time I had malaria was 10 years ago. Have you had any vaccines, immunizations in the last eight weeks? No. Have you donated blood anywhere in the last eight weeks? No. <laughs> Just on the rock that I fell onto. <laughs> I'm so excited and freaked out at the same time with so many emotions. <laughs> Where's this door going to? I go back into the lab and it's sealed now. So oh, I can't get out. You have to stay there. <laughs> Not escape. November 23rd. I'll be 23 on the 23rd. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's awesome. And what's the year? 1994. Yes. 13.6. You're in like Yay. a man. Yay! So I can actually donate. You can be a donor. Yes! <laughs> you can see my blood is taken, and that's it. All right, so I'm still alive, didn't pass out, which is good since I only donated two tubes of blood and if I go down again, it's gonna be a whole bag. So, glad to be feeling okay. So moving on to another topic entirely. This weekend, some of my friends and I went to a seaside town called Limbe. So Limbe is a little town that is located two hours from the ship, uh, right near Mount Cameroon, which is an active volcano here. So that was great and not nerve wracking at all. So for the next few minutes, sit back and enjoy the stunning scenery of Limbe, Cameroon. And I'm just hoping our rooms don't have cockroaches and bed bugs like last time. If they do, you'll be getting them for me. <laughs> okay! <laughs> <laughs> Praising God from the sea. Oh yeah, so I also ate another fish head last night. 
didn't film it because I almost threw up three times. It's pretty gross. Um, yeah, I don't really know if it's the type of thing that's going to get better the more I eat it. Alright, but anyways, we're heading back to the ship today. We are probably going to swim, go hike a little and just see what's around this town, and then take a two-hour taxi ride back to the oh-so-lovely ship. So. Oh wait, tell me what you're doing. We're digging a hole. Why? Because we're arid. It seems an effective Very use of our lie. time. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, what are you get doing? down! Get down! Get down! Get down. <laughs> you can just leave. Why are you standing? <laughs> no! <laughs> Our creation! <laughs> you don't even understand. <laughs> Super good right now. Oh, this giant crab's everywhere. Bad life decision? No, never. Getting us some coconuts. Oh, that's my coconut. ship right now or who are coming to Cameroon, I would say that Limbe Beach is probably the best beach I've been to so far. Kribi is really nice too, but Limbe has a lot more room to hang out, run around in, and there's no like garbage in the water and no seaweed. It's just clear, clean water, really warm, and so uh, yeah, come check it out if you are in the Cameroonian area. Mm -hmm. 